Overseas search and rescue teams in Taiwan are working around the clock in a desperate race to save hundreds of people who are trapped after the biggest earthquake to hit the island in 25 years. Take a look at this terrifying new video of when the quake first hit. Look at these large boulders just crashing down a hill and slamming onto a highway as cars hit reverse to try and escape the danger. Emergency workers trekked into the mountains to rescue hikers who were stranded after massive landslides wiped out the roads, blocking their path out. At least 10 people have died and more than 1,000 others injured. Back here in the U.S., financial relief could soon be coming for hundreds of small businesses impacted by the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. The federal government is offering low-interest loans to help compensate for the loss of revenue. CBS's Chris Van Cleve has more now on the disaster's economic toll. A couple inches beyond my fingertips. This is our first look at the murky conditions facing divers working to clear the wreckage of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. That view looks like being in the middle of a snowstorm with high beams on. That's the complication that our divers are navigating right now. The twisted, mangled mess of steel and concrete is blocking the shipping channel, largely cutting off the port of Baltimore, which handled nearly $81 billion of international cargo last year. Most of that is moved by small, independent truckers that are now out of business. They're desperate, and we want to make sure they get all the help that they need. We would normally see people in and out picking and packing and loading up trucks. For Miranda Summer, a quiet warehouse is bad for the bottom line. Almost immediately, the bridge collapse hit her Baltimore trailer and storage business. Nobody needs storage when they don't have product to, to store in it. How worried are you about your business surviving? We're uh, hoping to adjust and make the changes, but we definitely, it's the unknown right now. Summer says she started the application process for a low-interest loan from the Small Business Administration. Already, more than 500 businesses from five states and Washington, D.C. have sought SBA aid of up to $2 million. The local impact can be devastating for some of the small businesses. SBA Administrator Isabel Guzman. We're trying to be as responsive as quickly as possible. Of our disaster loans, economic injury uh, process it can take up, up to a couple of weeks. Why can't those loans get out the door faster? we got to work with the business to uh, assess the true uh, impact that we've had our first approval already. It can be a streamlined process as well. Now, several senior White House officials have been in touch with major employers here in the Baltimore area urging them to maintain their current staffing levels. President Biden plans to be here in Baltimore tomorrow to see the relief efforts in person. Nora. Chris Van Cleve, thank you very much.